So here we are, four months to go in the race for the White House, and this morning, President Biden is facing mounting pressures to drop out of the race. The Biden campaign has been in damage control mode since uh, last week's debate. His team trying to calm the concerns about the president's age. Today, Biden is set to meet with Democratic governors to rally support, but not everyone is on board with this. No, Natalie, a dad joining us here in studio. So Natalie, a Texas lawmaker was the first one to actually call for the president to go ahead and drop out. He was, and I don't think it really comes as a shock given all of the worry that we've seen recently. And, you know, I think, could this be a potential? Could it, is it potential rather that Joe Biden steps down? Yes, but would it be complicated, possibly even chaotic? Yes, but just because some people in the Democratic Party are calling him to remove himself from the presidential race, doesn't mean President Biden has to step down. He would have to give his consent first. Now, U.S. Representative Lloyd Doggett called on President Joe Biden to withdraw from the 2024 presidential race Tuesday. He is the first congressional Democrat to publicly call on Biden to step out of the race. Doggett cited Biden's poor debate performance last week, coupled with lagging poll numbers in key battleground states. Now, since the presidential debate last week, there has been growing worry about Biden's age and his ability to to win back the presidency. And say this is not about one night. This has been a problem for a year that our nominee has been lagging behind our strong Senate candidates in half a dozen key states. Now, gosh, this has many layers to it, Natalie. Yes. Has anyone else called on President Biden to withdraw from the presidential race? Yeah, so Lloyd Doggett is not the only Democrat, even in Texas, mm -hmm. to call for Joe Biden to drop out. The former HUD Secretary, Julian Castro, a Democrat from San Antonio, he also called on Biden to step out of the race yesterday. He says he believes there's another Democrat somewhere that has a chance at beating Donald Trump as well. But then you have Dallas's own Representative Jasmine Crockett, who is adamant that calls for the president to step down is just a distraction and Biden should actually stay on the ticket. Mm. So, you know, mixed reviews there. The Democratic Convention's not too far off. Not too far off, just a couple months away. Okay, thanks, Natalie. President Biden is set to give his first post-debate interview with ABC's George Stephanopoulos, and you can see part of that exclusive interview Friday on World News Tonight with David Muir. Then the extended interview airs Sunday on This Week.